Hello, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this Christmas card. Um, I made this using the dies from Sweetest Times. And I used this die. Oh, you can't see that. This die. But I used all the negatives that come out of it. Um, when I cut it out, certain bits all come out and I thought I didn't like it the way it cut. So what I did is I kept all the negative bits and I glued the ones that come off, like the holly leaves, there was a couple of these holly leaves came off and I cut off these bits that were on it. I hope I made that clear. And some of the ferns come off, which I just stuck back on. And that is what I've come up with. Instead of having it all like half a half a sheet. And that is what I've come up. Now I have stuck on these two holly leaves. One. That one was already stuck on, so was that. This one I had to stick back on, and this one. That one I didn't. This one I had to stick back on, and this one I stuck back on. That was it. So that's what I've come up with. Not exactly the same as that, a little bit different, but it doesn't matter. Depends how you stick them all back on, on your arrangement. The sentiment sharing Christmas cheer has come from Warm and Toasty, and I've used that. Now these two sets are the only two new Christmas sets I've ordered. There is another one I sort of like, but not 100% sure yet. Um, I don't want to be ordering loads of Christmas stamps because you only use them, in my case, a month. Because I'm only making Christmas cards in the month of November. So I've got loads of old Christmas stamps which I'll use, um, retired and that are still in the catalogue or in the annual catalogue so yes and even gonna make Christmas cards with non stamping up stamps or oh, it dies even so look I've left a bit of green in there get, get rid of that Make sure it's nice and clean. I mean I'll make a Christmas card with this soon and use the hollies for something. There is a couple of Christmas cards I could think of we use in this set, which I will do. But for today it's this one. Quick and easy. Once you've cut all this out, stuck it all together, it's quick and easy to put together. So Let's put this on. I have got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half. I have got a piece that's not real red for some reason. Let me see if I can get some real red. So I do go cutting the card in the middle of the night. bit of cherry cobbler that'll do so but that's real red so what I'll do before I stick it down is punch out one of these from the middle and you 
you can't see rather than go hunting for a piece of cherry cobbler so yes yeah, so I've got a piece of cherry cobbler at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths a piece of white at five and a half by three and three quarters and a piece of white for the inside at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths I've also got some scraps don't need that cherry cobbler and white for the sentiment so to start with we're going to stick down my holly when I cut this out I wasn't planning on doing it this way but I wasn't quite a hundred percent sure I liked it when it was in a half a one. I don't know if I can describe half a one. But I haven't cut out the um, candy cane yet, so we'll just see what that looks like when I get round to making a card with that that'll be next week this will be what's today's date what, This you'll see this on Wednesday the 1st uh, 4th of November as today is the 31st Halloween right I am going to stick that just like that there and then with this snowflake stamp which I got out of the snowman season triple stamp that's a quad the four snowflakes together and with soft sea spray no not soft sea spray I keep calling that seaside spray I am going to just put a load of snowflakes over the page what's on there right with the sentiment oh put that too close to the bottom that's better cut this out punch it out Let's glue this on. Such a quick and easy card this. Oh, I nearly forgot something. Forgot about the colouring in. Right, I've got cherry cobbler here. And what I'm going to do is colour in all the circles so that the cherries are red
sit there and cut out all the um, little circles in red if you wanted to. It's just as easy doing it with a pen. Right, now I've got my Winker Stella and what I've done is went over all the holly leaves with Winker Stella. Just to add a little bit of glitter to the card. That won't go all over the place. Forget about the Winker Stella. more left. I think it's going to run out this year. I have had it a while. But then if you don't use it, alas. <laughs> We'll find out today if we're going into full lockdown, the whole country. We are in, I'm in lockdown. And Ken is in full lockdown. Alright. Pop this on our card base. This I've cut in half and then I just go around the edges of half of it and glue that on there, giving me a little border like that. Do the same the other side. Gluing that on like that. And there we have a little border. And that will go up on dimensionals. Just using the outsides and because that's what I used on the last one I was at the end of the dimensional so I used the outsides of it so much easier right and we'll just stick that there And that is our card. No, it isn't. I need to put one in the inside. I haven't stamped it. 
did I stamp? I haven't stamped on the inside of this. I could put something on the inside, I suppose. What could I put? Um, let me see what I've got to stamp on the inside. For you with Christmas cheer. Let's put that on. For you with Christmas cheer. Let's find a block. No. Our ink. I know you're thinking you've stuck it down and you're gonna stamp. I know I'm mad, aren't I? Right, make sure my card's straight. Uh, stamp that down. And I think that has smudged. I think it moved. Oh, it didn't. I thought it had. Let's put that on the inside of this one as well, after I cleaned it. So that is the card for today. I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon. Being noisy while I'm at it, putting my stamps away. Sorry about that. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Right, all I can say is see you later.